My name is Will Shanklin, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my vibrational art technique using just my three favorite pens on my favorite paper, the Strathmore Tone Tan. I'm going to show you how to bring it from the blank page to the fast movement flow type art, just sort of abstract shapes, and detail it all the way into this level here. So let's begin. So I'll demonstrate a section of this where I'll begin with the cross hatching in the sepia right around here and eventually bring it around to this level of detail here. So I'll usually start with the, with the parts that I believe appear to be the deepest holes and caverns. start doing broad cross hatching like this. Doing this will also reveal further shapes and caverns as I call them, but I just don't really have a better word for it. This step here allows you to play around with it a little bit further before getting really into the solidifying detail that establishes the shape. For time, I'll just stick to this section right here. You can see here, as I, as I spiral these marks in, it's starting to reveal some more complex patterns deeper in. And I'm just sort of running with that as I see it appear. Okay, so pretty much followed the same pattern here. And this section is as far as I go with detail with the sanguine. And now I'm going to go in with the white jelly roll. I'm gonna establish the highlights and the highest points, connecting them to the other shapes and caverns and networks. And this is one of my favorite parts. Technique that I use here, my hand pretty much never stops moving. I find that the less I think, the easier it is to perform this technique. Now you can see here a lot of the shapes are really coming through. That's why I like this part. A lot of a lot of things I didn't really expect to happen occur in this stage. All right. So with that done, I'll go in with the micron and just sort of finalize the shapes and the crevices and all the little things that appeared in the previous steps. And you can really get down to the tiny little bumps and details that you didn't quite expect to appear. And again, 
this stage, my hand never stops moving. Doing that leads to a lot of marks and shapes that you didn't quite anticipate or make. And then when you go in and details those accidental spots, those are the ones that really give it that sort of organic look and feel. Parts that surprise you, not the ones that you try to force into it. start cross hatching to give it the real depth. Starting with the smallest holes that appeared in one direction. And even in this stage, my hand never stops moving, reducing any sort of hesitation that might occur. In this part you can see I sort of do it in reverse as the sepia part. I'll begin with the very small minuscule cross hatching parts and then move in to the broader strokes. Sort of ending the way I began. Now for a final step, go back in with the jelly roll and some of the parts that are buried into the black. If you're looking for a sort of uh, organic or gooey look, you can then go in and just sort of touch up some of those highlights piercing through the darkness. Good final touch for really bringing the detail to life. Okay. And that's it. Um, as you can see, I brought this section here where I started from scratch, blended it into the same level of detail as around here. And it's just that simple. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or want any tips on how to do that technique or anything, just feel free to DM me.